so, Jimmy yeah. Iovine, by the way, is uh, one of the founders of Beats. I know. Yeah. And former executive at Interscope. Mm-hmm. And is the reason so, Aftermath got a record label, which is the whole reason why Eminem got signed and 50 Cent got signed. So, yeah, Jimmy Iovine is is not an uh, an insignificant player in the music no, industry. No, no, no. And, 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 and with this, yes, Dr. Dre and Trent Reznor do have some sort of creative say and influence on this process as well. Right. So they have, which is ridiculous to say. Like the lead singer in Nine Inch Nails and a dude who is in NWA are, <laughs> are like they have creative control over something. At I, Apple. I tweeted it's during I amazing. tweeted during the keynote like hey hey I messaged the fifty year old me uh, this happened Trent Reznor is a uh, uh, part of uh, uh, Apple's uh, presentation here in twenty fifteen get ready for that um, yeah get get yeah he's he's singing about how he hates the machine now he is the machine oh completely completely um, except so, for algorithms. Except for, Except algorithms. for algorithms. So they, they, they don't want algorithms. They want human create, human curated stuff, which is great, I guess. Um, mm-hmm. That's something that turned me on to Spotify, though, because you can grab people's Spotify created playlists. playlists. Yeah. So that's where I, I mean, that was one of the things that turned me on to the concept of Spotify. Now, I don't pay for any service today. I pay for two different ones. <laughs> and uh i would like to not do that anymore uh the so here's the there's connect so the, this is kind of what here's the the tricky part they announced it so very very poorly mm-hmm. because had they said listen you have this very large itunes collection on your laptop and itunes match helped you get that on all of your devices mm-hmm Hey, now you have access to everything in the iTunes store and these super cool radio stations. How hard is that announcement to make? Not that hard, which is what the Apple Music is. That's why I'm now in. When I first watched the announcement, I was like, oh, that's stupid. I will continue using Google Music. Good day to you, Apple. Yeah. And then they said, uh, hey, I, then they posted like the Apple Music page and you're reading through it. You're like, wait, so I get to keep all my stuff and all the stuff that's in iTunes match and I get access to everything that's in iTunes, except that's, for there's a sub, there's a small subset of bands that you don't get. The Beatles are one of them. Oh, cool. Next, <laughs> not worried about that. ACDC is another one because ACDC is super hateful about music online. Uh, they're st- I guess they're still scared of the internet in New Zealand or wherever ACDC is from. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so sorry ACDC. There are people out here trying to get money. Uh, and you old dudes are just living off that 70s money when you couldn't get music everywhere. Well, they got that Iron Man money from a couple years ago. Yeah, they did. They got that uh, that sweet, sweet Iron Man money. Yeah, yeah. Shout all that Walmart Star. re-release with uh, Iron Man on the cover. There you go. Yeah. So they have uh, they, they, they have their own money. Um, but there's the, the music thing, three-month free trial. So if you're kind of interested in figuring out what the heck this is all about, you can do it for three months. Um. It's what nine ninety nine for one person and fourteen ninety nine for a family Up for a six. family of six. Yep. Yeah. Which uh, I currently pay ten for Spotify and eight for Google Music. So this is saving me money. I will probably switch. Mm-hmm. Um. Because hey, fifty bucks a year is not something to sneeze at. Mm-hmm. And then um, yeah. So that was Apple Music. It, they they could have shortened it by a solid ten minutes and had it not been so terrible. Um. Which was really sad. And if you watch the Twitter feeds of developers who are in the audience, they were like, "Can we? Can we go get sandwiches now? Would they be? <laughs> would we get shot on sight if we stood up right now? Because I would like to not be here. And there are sandwiches downstairs. Yeah, um, yeah. I saw. I saw like Gabe Sapolsky was like, "I'd like to go eat now." Uh, <laughs> you mean Josh Topolsky? What did I say? Gabe Sapolsky. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's somebody people. else. Yeah. That's somebody else with very Welcome similar Gabe. names. Uh, so very yeah, they, different people. So a couple other tidbits. Uh, one that they didn't announce during the keynote. Uh, they are. Do- oh no, they did announce this during the keynote. They're doing public betas of OS 10 and iOS. Bum, in bum, I think that's a mistake. I think that's I, a genius I think that's move. Gonna, I think it's going to ruin a lot of people's lives. They're like, oh, I can get the new thing. Oh no. Hey, There's, hey, everybody. But remember, but, they did. They did a public beta of OS 10 last year, and everything I think that was worked fine. great. That worked great. great. I'm worried. I'm more worried about the phone side. That's why they're not releasing it until July. July. And it'll yeah, be. Yeah. It'll be off. And it's not going to be on the the regular schedule. I I might. I was thinking about putting on the iPad, but the iPad's too old. I'm not going to get any features, anyways. So no, you're going to get. You're going to get the new keyboard. You're going to get. Ooh. You'll get. I mean, you'll get a lot. You'll get the new notes. mm -hmm. The only thing you're not going to get is the split screen. Mm -hmm. I gotta say, only the iPad Air two gets this. 
but the uh, pulling a video and sticking it in the corner like you can in YouTube picture already. And picture. Yeah, that picture works picture. on a uh, bunch of different devices. Nah, I thought that was the one that was exclusive to iPad 2. No, that's Split View. Split View's iPad 2. I need to look at my 